Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today and welcome to this educational presentation where today I want to bring attention to all the stock traders because I truly believe that this is the course that you've been searching for. And I know a lot of you have taken a lot of courses, a lot of different webinars and, and different uh, online <clears throat> excuse me, courses or, or a structure that you paid for or even gone to seminars if you pay for, spent your good time and earned money and walked away with really nothing to show for it because after a while you've tried to put things together, you don't really understand what they were trying to teach you and you really don't even understand how to implement and generate signals. Well, I'd like you to look at this example here. This was in Tiffany and this was just last month. In fact, this was just a couple of weeks ago. And looking at this chart, once again, someone would usually say that there's actually no direction. In fact, it looks as if there's some resistance right here because the stock just can't seem to go through this level. Well, I'm going to share with you a strategy that can actually generate signals in sideways markets like this, oftentimes before large, big moves occur. In fact, Tiffany generated 30 points and potentially you could have captured 30 points in the following two weeks when it looked like nothing was happening. And all this can be done easily and smoothly with our new platform that teaches traders how to trade. This is the PTS Primo Charting Platform. And all the examples you're going to be seeing today, everything I'm going to be showing you, can easily be done simply with one click by using our new platform. So welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading. And around nine years ago, I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies. They're the PTS and Pro Trader Strategies or the PTS Primo Charting Platform. I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies where all we do is educate and mentor our students around the world in over 110 countries and in virtually every state in the United States. Now, I've been trading for roughly 41 years now. I started trading on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for 16 years. Nine of those years, I was a specialist. That's why we call this portion of the company specialist trading because it deals with what I learned on the floor. A specialist was someone who made markets in roughly about 50 or 60 stocks. And I made markets during the crash of 1987 and the bull market that followed. So if you were making markets, if you were buying and selling on a minute by minute basis, you had to have some idea, some knowledge of how to trade. I traded once again in up markets, straight down markets, sideways markets. In fact, I traded just about every technique or system you can think of, every strategy. So in my 41 years of trading and my experience, I know what works in terms of consistency and I know what doesn't. So why would you want to waste your time and hard-earned money going all over the place at the next best system or the next best uh, technique? And maybe it'll work for a couple of weeks, maybe even a couple of months, maybe even a couple of years. But eventually most of these things usually fall by the wayside and a lot of them completely blow up. So. We just teach our students around the world techniques, strategies, methods that have shown high levels of consistency. And then we let you decide. We are not here to trade for you. We're not here to tell you what the perfect market is. We're not here to tell you what the perfect time frame is. That's what you should be doing. We're here simply to teach you how to trade. So I'm going to show you today a strategy that's going to be included in our new college, our new stock traders college that we will actually teach you step by step and all the rules in the college. But before we begin, please take a moment to view our required disclaimer. We're required by law to show you this, so please take a moment to view it. I'm gonna show you a lot of performance results using this particular strategy today, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I am about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And as always, uh, as you're taking a brief moment to view our disclaimer, I would like to take this time to invite you to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there, abbreviation for Specialist Trading. I post different information on a daily basis, anywhere from little bits of wisdom I've accumulated along the way to actual signals that our strategies have generated, a couple of really nice ones the last couple of days, so feel free to follow us on Twitter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, once again, as I stated in the opening statements, we are a little bit different from other webinars you may have attended. If you're new to my presentations, we are all about teaching you how to trade. We are, first and foremost, an educational company. That's what separates us from other webinars or other presentations you may have uh, gone to in the past. And the fact that we're not here to sell you some $10,000 system and say that, uh, you know, just follow the signals and that's all you have to do, blindly take them on a, on a nightly basis. Or we're not here to sell you some convoluted indicator that never fails. We don't believe in those things. What we believe is the only thing that can sustain you as a trader is knowledge, is education. 
because these are the things that have stood the test of time and that last, okay? And so if you notice, uh, a lot of the people that have these techniques and methods, they've been trading for a relatively short time, for maybe five, 10 years. We have 41 years of experience of using all these thing, things that we teach in our courses. And then we mentor you along the way so that ultimately you can make your own decision. It is not in any way our uh, goal to force feed you signals, to tell you what to trade on a nightly basis, to tell you what market to trade, to tell you what time frame. In fact, we believe that's a recipe for a disaster. That's the way the entire industry is based on people telling you how and what to trade. We don't believe that. Sure, we have strategies that generate signals, but it's up to you to decide how you want to implement them, which entry point you want to take, which exit point you want to take, which stop placement you want to use, and we provide all of that for our students. So our goal is not to trade for you, but to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. It's the same edge that was taught to me some 41 years ago, and I believe this is what has sustained me to be able to, to make me trade for 41 years. So hopefully it will do the same to you. And I'm gonna start off by sharing with you what my mentors taught me. When I was struggling in the beginning of my uh, trading tenure, this is what they taught me. They said, Steve, successful trading does not depend on you know, the most complicated of systems, does not depend on uh, looking at every bit of financial news event or every bit of uh, you know indications that are coming off technically or listening to what every trading guru is saying. Here's what successful trading is. It should be non-subjective. That means two traders, entirely different traders, entirely different uh, you know mindsets should look at the same chart and come up with the same analysis. All right, how many times have you looked at something or seen a market or seen something and, and you say, gosh, I think this is really great. What do you think about this? And the other trader says, no, it's terrible. Their earnings are going to be terrible. Uh, you know, they're, they're projected to be this, and the company's not going to be going forward. I wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole. This is the way most traders trade. Uh, trading should be non-subjective, where it's very cut and dry, where two traders looking at a chart will come up with the same synopsis. Right off the bat, you should know whether you should be a buyer or a seller of whatever you're looking at. Whatever time frame, whatever market, it makes no difference. Also, successful trading should be consistent. Now, sure, everyone says, well, yeah, I want to be a consistent trader, but what does that mean? Consistent really means that you should be aware and know that you're going to have losses. That's okay. There is nothing wrong with that. You see, I'm sure you're, you're thinking I was going to say consistent means you're going to make money. You're going to be profitable. But consistent really means you're going to have losses from time to time. That's okay because a consistent method will be able to make back those losses. You'll have a two-step forward, one-step back approach. The one-step back are those losses that will occur from time to time. There's nothing wrong with them. I, before I traded today, or I should say before I presented today, I had a couple of trades, and I had a couple of losers, and I had one or two winners that were able to make up what I had lost and, and get me in the positive call. So that's what consistency means. You want to be able to have this stair-step approach to your trading. You know, if someone promises you the world and says, we never lose on a trade, or we, we've, the only time we've lost is once in the last 10 years, you know, that's silly. Traders who've been trading for years, decades, always have losses from time to time, okay? So successful trading should be consistent. Successful trading should also be as simple as possible. All right, so once again, I'm sure you've attended these webinars, this master system or this master course or whatever, and then you go there and you see the guys have been trading for maybe five or 10 years. and they're Trading is extremely complicated. Maybe the rules are like 10 or 20 rules for each strategy they have, all right? But if you notice the guys have been trading for 30, 40, 50 years, most of their trading plans maybe have three to five rules. They're simple, maybe one indicator at most. These are the things that have stood the test of time. So trading should be as simple as possible, not tons of requirements that need to be met, not tons of conditions that have to come together in order for a signal to be generated. And then they lastly said the most important thing about successful trading is that it should make you a part of the process. So what do I mean by this? Well, I touched upon it lightly in the beginning where I said that we're not here to trade for you. My goal is not to force feed you signals and have you just blindly take them. My goal is almost like a master chef. I'm teaching you how, how to cook, how to prepare a meal. And I'm showing you what the best ingredients are. But I'm not going to cook that meal for you. You're going to decide which ingredients you want to use. You're going to be a little creative. You'll decide to take a little bit of this ingredient. You'll take maybe some of these. You'll put them together and you'll make it fit your persona. I can't tell you on a daily basis, I have students always tell me, they say, well, Steve, you said to do this. And so um, 
why in your webinar did you show this? Or why is this not happening in the course? Because we don't teach systems. See, systems mean that you have to trade the same way each and every time. But all we're doing is providing you with consistent methods and techniques, showing you different formats and ways in which to apply them. But ultimately, it's up to you. We have different areas for entry. We have different areas for exit. We have different areas for stop placements. Should everyone use the same one every time on every trade? No, because the markets are different and also because traders are different. Some traders like to get in and out quickly. That's great, then use this particular exit. Some traders wanna stay in as long as possible and get as much bang for the buck. Great, then use this type of stop placement where you track the trade. There is no wrong way to trade. So uh, I, as I st stated, uh, past members will always be asking me that, why did you say this? But in this uh, class, you said this because there are different ways to trade, and I'm trying to present all the different variables so that you can decide what works best for you. So we always tell our, our students to paper trade first with everything we've presented so that you can decide what makes you feel comfortable, okay? These are the four components of successful trading, not some master system that costs ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, okay? Now, all of these things, all of these components are going to be presented in my new and improved elite stock trading college that we're going to be uh, starting within the next month. This is a great, we do this once a year and we've really improved it. We have a lot of new uh, innovative things that we're adding. Uh, we have uh, uh, different ways in which to, uh, to apply a lot of the techniques that we're going to be showing you. And I want to be talking specifically about one of the best strategies and methods that's going to be included within our new elite trading college. And that is strategy number eight, okay? This is what I call our overlooked strategy because first of all, let me give you some of the highlights of this particular strategy. It's for stock trading only. So this is why I think it's overlooked so much because most of our methods can be transferred onto any you know, uh, market, any time frame. We have found that this works the best because of the way it's constructed by using this only on stocks, okay? And sure, you can experiment with it. Once again, these are not systems, so feel free to try it on a market maybe we didn't uh, apply it to, and maybe it'll work that way for you. But we suggest, especially if you're new to our, our uh, colleges, to only apply this to stock trading, that we've seen the best results. Now, it only uses two indicators, and we have proprietary settings for each indicator, okay? So this is an indicator-based strategy. Other strategies we have are based off patterns, other strategies we have are based mainly on maybe one indicator, but this is an indicator-based strategy because it's two indicators that you have to look for. Now, the beauty of this strategy is that it often shows its capability to catch these big moves, okay? So, now, I'm not gonna promise that and guarantee that, but you'll see in some examples today I showed you that are recent from this past month, how oftentimes when it looks like the market's doing nothing, it'll be you know give you a signal, a buy or sell signal, days or even weeks before a huge move occurs because of its relationship. See, the, the basis of this strategy, without giving the rules away, are where price is in relation to these two indicators. And so this is a, the proprietary uh, you know, uh, formula we have for this particular strategy. And this is why it works so well sometimes, because what it does is it kind of finds those stocks that are coiling up before a big move. Now, it works best in daily bars and higher time frames. So we would suggest if you're going to apply this, especially in the beginning, don't look for intraday trading. Remember, just focus on stock charts and look at daily bars and higher time frames. Now, how you choose to enter, we always tell our students, is up to you once again. We're not telling you, well, you have to purchase the spread and that's the only way to trade it or you have to buy the actual stock or short the actual stock. Once again, it's entirely up to you. If you're an option trader, that's great. You can purchase calls, puts, get some type of long or short spread, or if you want to actually go long the actual stock, that's fine. And you can apply this to any direction. So uh, don't think that it's a long only type of uh, uh, scenario where you have to apply this. You can apply it to going long and or going short. Now, as with all of our methods, we always ask our students to learn by paper trading first. Don't just jump in because oftentimes students will lose money and they'll think that the strategy or method doesn't work when it all uh, actuality is they're implementing it incorrectly because they didn't practice first. So we always stress students must paper trade first. And remember we talked about consistency. What does that mean? It means that strategy number eight will generate losses from time to time. That's perfectly okay. In fact, I'll show you a few in just a few seconds here. 
But the beauty of this method is its consistency. We're oftentimes not guaranteed, but oftentimes on the next setup, you're able to recoup that loss and make some more gain. So it's a great strategy. As I stated, it's often referred to as our overlooked strategy because it's only applied for stocks. But let me show you some examples with strategy number eight right now, okay? Now, once again, I'm sorry we can't divulge rules in our courses and in especially the college. We will go over the rules in their entirety. We'll show you different ways in which to apply it. We'll show you different ways in which to, to execute it. But for right now, just let me show you some recent examples. Let's start out with some buys. Okay, example in TXT, Textron. And a good example of this is this is one of the stocks I used to make a market in when I was trading on the floor. This was just about a month ago, the beginning of May. Uh, the, the stock had been falling, and it looked as if it was trying to make some type of a bottom, but it just couldn't get, get going. But a buy signal was generated using strategy number eight, and the stock went up five points coming into May. Okay, not bad. It's, uh, you know, more of a stock play than an option play, but still not bad. Not, uh, you know, you got in at the very bottom, and depending on how many shares or, or calls you were to purchase, that's a nice way to make some money here on the upside. Intel, INTL, okay, once again, it looks as if this stock has rolled over, but a buy signal is generated, okay, using its own proprietary uh, indicators plus its own proprietary rules of strategy number eight, and five points as well, coming into the second week of June. Now, we start seeing a little bit more gains. Here's a $30 stock, DVM. Stock is basically doing nothing, kind of sideways to lower. A buy signal was generated at the end of April, and the stock goes straight up eight points coming in to the end of May. Fossil, first solar, this is another example where it looks as if nothing has happened, and this is what we call a cluster. Oftentimes you'll get a signal, nothing happens, you'll get another signal, nothing happens, followed by another signal. You usually see these clusters in two. If you see three, that's a pretty strong sign that it's most likely going to work. It's not guaranteed because these are not systems. We don't go back and test 10 years to see how well they performed if three signals happened in a row. We don't believe in that. This is not a systematic company. We are an educational company trying to show you high probability setups. So we're just saying that this is, uh, you know, looking very nicely because you have three setups in a row and nothing has happened yet. But ultimately in the middle of May, it started to go up and it was 10 points coming into this past week in June, okay? So this would have been a nice play to go on the long side. If we look at Netflix here, okay, we're going to a more expensive stock. So most likely you wouldn't have purchased the actual stock, but you would have purchased some type of calls or long uh, spread strategy. We see here, once again, the stock was really doing nothing at the end of May, but strategy eight generated a buy signal. And coming into the first week of June, Netflix rose 35 points in just two weeks. So you think you could have done well with some options on that, okay? This is what we say. Oftentimes it will give you these nice setups before a large move. Now, these were buy examples. Let's look at some sell examples because the same thing can happen in the same time period. I know a lot of traders will say, well, Steve, how could I go short if I'm also going long some other stocks? Well, remember, that's a systematic way of looking at things. It's up to you if you want to trade and take the signal. We are not telling you you have to, and we're not telling you not to. It's entirely up to you. If you only want to take long setups, that's fine with us. If you only want to take short setups, that's fine with us. You see, our our credo is you take each signal for what it is on the chart. You don't have to relate it to what the overall market is doing. You don't have to relate it to a higher time frame. You don't have to relate it to that group of stocks. If you want to relate it to that sector, that's fine, but that's in no way required. Remember, we want to keep things simple. You're overcomplicating your trading when you're bringing in too many variables, like looking at a higher time frame, like finding out what the entire sector is doing like looking and seeing what the uh, uh, market is doing in a whole. You can do those if you want to, but we stress against it because you're getting to this point where you're overcomplicating, and that is a recipe for disaster. The traders who have been trading 30, 40, 50 years are the ones that keep things simple. So they only look at the signal on the stock. That's the only thing they care about. And if that stock says and generates a sell signal, well then, you go short. I don't care what the higher time frame is doing. I don't care what the sector is doing. I don't care what the overall market is doing. It's really that simple. So the same time we were sharing with you all those buy signals that generated some nice up moves, well, some nice sell moves were being generated as well. But coming into May, we had a cluster of sell signals in Snap, all right? Now, Snapchat, 
was the darling of the IPOs a year or two ago. And, and you know, this year, the last year, it's been going straight down, it's been terrible. Still, a lot of people were holding on to this stock. Now, if you didn't want to go short this, or you couldn't actually short it, uh, this would give you more than enough incentive to get out. Because if you were still holding on to this stock in the teens, look at this cluster of sell signals that Strategy 8 was generated. Now, these first two sell signals here, if you had taken them, most likely would have generated a loss. If you had a tight stop here, you most likely would have lost here. But then guess what? Another sell signal was generated. So if you were so inclined to, to use this one and get out, that would have been a good point because look what happened the following week. A big gap down, and now the stock is trading in the nines and tens. So this was strategy number eight, trying to give you an early warning that a big move was happening because you had a cluster there. Now, the first two trades would have most likely been losses, but had you taken the second one, even if you were long and you were looking for an excuse to get out, that would have been the one to get out. Let's look at KLIC. All right, we have kind of a mini cluster here. Here's a sell signal, and as you can see, it didn't really move in your direction. If you had a tight one of our tight stops, you most likely would have been stopped out. But if you had used one of our stops where you give yourself more room, you may have still been in this trade, or maybe you wanted to purchase the puts where you didn't give yourself any uh, stop placement, you just said all that expire worthless. And so uh, it's still a good uh, uh, short here. And you get another sell signal coming into the second to third week of April and 10 points coming into the end of April, okay? Now, as we get into April coming into May, we see here that IBM, you know, there's some news or some event or some announcement uh, prompted the stock to gap down and close lower. This is the way most traders trade. They'll see something like this and say, boy, this announcement came out of the blue. Everyone was shaken out. We closed near the lows. So I'm going to get in because it's so oversold right now. I mean, look at everyone was shaken out. It'll probably have a nice bounce. Who knows? It might bounce back up to fill that gap. So we're always taught buy low, sell high. So you got to buy here at low prices, right? Well, this is why it's been estimated that 80 to 85% of all traders fail because if the market is telling you it wants to go lower, then you should just jump on board. Don't try to bet against it. Now, here, strategy number eight generated a sell signal. So someone looking at this would say, gosh, you know, the stock just gapped down a number of points here. How can I go short? Well, remember, if you trade a system, you have to take the trade because that's the only way to keep in line with the statistics. If you trade a strategy, you don't have to take the trade. It's entirely up to you. We're not here to tell you how to trade. So if you didn't want to take this, if you felt uncomfortable, there's no need to take it. But if you wanted to, if you wanted to buy puts, it would have been a good idea because the stock fell 10 more points coming into the first week of May. How about Pepsi? Well, we have another mini cluster here. Had you taken the first signal, you may have been stopped out, but you had another chance to get back in. And this would have been a good one to take because it was 13 points coming into the middle of May to the downside. We see here in uh, GS, uh, Goldman, we see here that we're going straight up and then we have a sell signal. Now, someone would say, well, gosh, I don't know how well this signal is gonna last because it's the middle of May and the market's really strong. I like the market, so I don't know if I wanna take this, but remember, it's up to you. It would have been in your best interest to take this sell signal because the stock fell 15 points coming into the end of May, or the first week of June. So you see, at the same time we were generating some really nice up moves, we were also generating some really nice downward moves. How you wanna trade, which one you wanna take, where you wanna enter, where you wanna place your stop is entirely up to you. Now, I know some of our uh, students say, well, Steve, I don't trade intraday, I don't even look at daily bars, I usually like to look at swing trading, I like to look at weekly, sometimes even monthly bars, okay? Strategy number eight can be applied to those time frames as well. Here is Tiffany once again, but this time we're looking at weekly time frame. And the stock is basically doing nothing from March all the way to the middle of April, end of April. We're just going sideways, but strategy eight, according to the way it's uh, the proprietary uh, uh, strategy rules, are they have price and their relation to a few proprietary indicator settings. Well, they generated a buy signal saying that it looks like a coiling uh, scenario was taking place and that this is a buy setup. So as you can go along, Tiffany, at the last week of April, well, coming into this week in June, that would have been 34 points that you potentially could have captured. If you had had some nice calls, that would have been a really nice trade, okay? How about to the downside, TSRO? Uh, here we have the stock kind of going up and then has a downward day. 
All right, well, you want to go short? Well, 20 points. This was in mid-March coming into the first week of June here. And then lastly, we can even go out to a much larger time frame. Let's look at Facebook. Now, we all know that Facebook has gone straight up. But how would you have liked to have purchased strategy number eight and taken the course way back in January 2013? Because what do we see here? These are all monthly bars. And Facebook uh, is basically doing nothing. It's going sideways to up a little bit. But what do we have? Strategy number eight has generated a cluster of buy signals. Remember, when you see a cluster here, of two or three and nothing is happening, that's a pretty strong sign that most likely the market is getting ready to coil to the upside because there are buy signals being generated, all right? It would be the reverse if you had sell signals. So we have three buy signals. Nothing much has really happened, but in the next five years, the stock's gained roughly 160, close to 200 points now, all right? The beauty of this is that if you have a strong enough trend, don't worry if you miss that. Many times, you'll generate another buy signal and then another one along the way. Okay, so let's recap before I tell you about this great offer we have. All right, we talked about strategy number eight. The beauty of strategy number eight is that it works so well on stocks, but the disadvantage of strategy number eight is that most people don't know about it. It's our overlooked strategy because it only works on stocks. Once again, you're always free to experiment with different markets, different time frames, but we've done it for you, trust us, and it, 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 we have the best results on uh, stock market, on stocks, and with daily bars as well as higher time frames. Remember, it only uses two indicators. It's very simple, and the signals are generated based off of the price of the stock and its relationship to these pro two proprietary indicators, all right? It often shows, because of that, it often shows capability to catch these big moves, as you just saw. Now, as we just said, it works best in daily bars and higher time frames, but you're always free to experiment with other markets and other time frames. You can apply it to any direction. I just showed you great examples where it was going straight up, great examples where it was going straight down. Remember, once you become a member of our strategy number eight course, please learn this strategy like the back of your hand. The best way to do that is through paper trading. Our edge here is consistency. I showed you a couple of examples where you would have had losing trades, but then right off the bat, the very next or maybe the, the signal after that was a winning one where you would have recouped all of those losses. This is what we mean by consistency, a two-step forward, one-step back approach. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, strategy number eight is a great strategy, our often overlooked strategy, and I want you to ask yourself, do you think it could have helped your trading this past year if you're a stock trader, all right? This is what we've devised for all the people that have been having trouble trading stocks, that even though the market is making new highs and continues to go higher, they just haven't had anything to show for it. We're once again running, which we do on a yearly basis. We're kind of doing it earlier this year. We usually do it at the end of the year, but we realize that a lot of people have had trouble. But we're running our elite stock trading college, and it's all new and improved because we have a lot of different features and a lot of different new uh, technical features that I'm going to be talking about in just a second here. Let me share with you some of the curriculum of this. It's a six-week course, okay? The first week where we talk to you about the foundation and the building blocks of stock trading. This is basically our philosophy. We want to go over our concepts so that you fully understand what we're about, okay? It's not so much talking about how to trade. We're talking about why to trade. Why would you want to trade? Or why would you take this setup? Why is this an uptrend? Why is this a downtrend? We go over our philosophy, and it's so simple but so different from anything you've probably seen before. In week two, we start getting into the live uh, courses where we talk about strategies, all right? We're gonna be giving you strategy four, which is probably our most consistent strategy to date and probably our most popular strategy because it can transfer over onto so easily onto any market or time frame. So whereas strategy eight is really basically just for stocks, strategy four can be used for anything. Futures, Forex, currency pairs, commodities, Bitcoin, it makes no difference. Also, if you like to intraday trade, strategy four is the uh, strategy for you. You can intraday trade stocks, intraday trade futures. I use it intraday trading futures. It doesn't matter what direction, what time frame. It's a great strategy along with strategy eight. We'll give you all the rules in week two. In week three, we start really going into detail about how to enter, how to exit, how to place your stop uh, in different places. We give you all the different variables, all our advanced placement of these different categories, so that once you know the strategy and what to look for, now you know how to enter. Now you know how to exit. Now you know where to place your stop. 
Week four, we really go into advanced trading where we talk about the pet D. This is our most powerful tool we have at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies. Why? Because it is our short-term trend identifier. The pet D is a tool I was introduced to some 41 years ago on the floor. And at the time, it was something we had to calculate by hand, but now we've made it into a proprietary algorithm where all you have to do is simply click on the uh, algorithm and it will automatically change the color of your bars from green to red. If you see a green bar, it means that bar or series of bars is in a short-term uptrend. If you see a red bar or a series of red bars, you are in a short-term downtrend. And once you know the trend, you can apply any strategy to that trend. And we really feel it will increase your odds for success. In week five, we talk about option trading, okay? Eric Wilkinson, he's been with Pro Trader Strategies. He's been giving webinars on Fridays for, for years now, has a great following. He will go over these strategies, most especially strategy four, and tell you how to apply options to that if you like to trade options. And then lastly, the final week, we put it all together and we talk about advanced trade management. Another technique I was taught years ago on the floor that will really get you in sync with your strategy and get you on the right side of the market. So we're really building this foundation for you that is most likely are things you've never heard before or traded before, but these are all things that I learned some four decades ago on the floor and they've sustained me. We're giving you the best of the best in our opinion with the pet D strategies four and eight, options trading with Eric Wilkinson and advanced trade management, okay? Six weeks of courses, live courses with myself, where you'll be able to, uh, you know, Ask me any question live and go over examples that have happened as earlier as, as early as that day. Okay. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, "Well, Steve, I just don't trade stocks, though. Or what if I I like to also trade futures? What if I trade commodities?" Okay. Well, they work great with stocks, but you can also apply them to these different markets. For example, strategy four, which we will be teaching you in the course, all the rules, all the different exit placements and stop, can also be applied to futures. This was taken in the first uh, or second week of May, coming into the middle of May. This was an hourly chart of the E-mini futures. Look at all the buy signals that were generated using strategy four, okay? Some better than others, but we share with you what to look for when using strategy four. Here's the Euro dollar. This is a daily chart of the Euro dollar, two sell signals generated in the Euro dollar in the middle of May, coming into the end of May, just last week or so. Do you think they could have helped you trading the Forex market? And a lot of people, well, not lately, but had a lot of interest in Bitcoin. Well, look at strategy number eight. These were all strategy number eight buy signals coming into that meteoric rise in Bitcoin that happened uh, towards the end of last year. OK, so these strategies can be applied to different markets, different time frames. Obviously, strategy eight works the best with stocks, but you can transfer it over if you think there are better examples somewhere else. Now, if you go to my website, specialisttrading.com, or if you go to Pro Trader Strategies, you'll see tons of testimonials and endorsements from people who have taken our colleges in the past, anywhere from people who just started trading or who trade different markets to actual people who have been trading for years. This is uh, something that was sent in from a hedge fund manager that shared with us uh, what they had learned by using one of our strategies in that college and how it really has helped them. So it makes no difference if you're trading 40 years or if you're trading 40 days. It makes no difference. Everyone gets the same basic format. And then we work out from there to help it fit your needs and meet your personality traits. Whoops. Once again, as my mentors taught me 41 years ago, remember, successful trading should be non-subjective. Two traders should look at the same chart and come up with the same analysis. This is what we teach you in the course and how to do that. It should be consistent, as I showed you with some strategy eight examples. You will have losses from time to time. Don't worry about it. As long as you're confident that a method through paper trading and through you know practicing has been able to capture those losses uh, every once in a while, that's all you need, okay? The, the, the trouble is that most of us, when we do have losses with a method that we paid ten, twenty thousand $20,000 for, it continues to go in the hole, hole, and hole, and you wonder, how much longer can I do this? And that's because the method is not consistent. Also, successful trading should be as simple as possible. Our strategies are extremely simple. Even though strategy number eight is based off of a, a dynamic formula, it, it's very simple to understand and to put together on your own. Lastly, trading, successful trading, should make you a part of the process. Remember, we are not here to trade for you. 
All right, we're not going to simply just say, all you have to do is take this course and, and uh, get our add-on, which will generate a straight up and straight down signal. So you don't have to really do anything. All you have to do is once the signal is generated, just take it. I mean, that, that really is a gambling mentality. And that is, as I said, a recipe for disaster. This entire industry is based off this. And this is why most traders fail, because they trust in someone or some method to make them rich. And then when they start trading it, it doesn't work. And they inevitably fail because they're not a part of the process. You've taken yourself out of the game when you do this. You have to be a part of the game. You cannot take yourself out and ask someone to trade for you. So that's why I get emails all the time from students saying, well, I don't understand why you showed one thing in one webinar and another thing in another webinar. Because everyone should and does trade differently. We encourage that. So we're giving you these different options and different variables so that you can decide what works best and feels best for you because you are ultimately going to decide whether you want to take the trade or not, not us. And the strategy may differ from, from person to person because you may decide to enter at a certain point. Someone may decide to enter at another point. Okay, This means you will get different results. So not everyone is going to get the same systematic results the way everyone does when you trade like a robot in a system. We don't believe in that. Everyone should trade differently. If you want more risk, then your, your entry will most likely be different than someone who wants less risk, okay? Now, I have a great offer for you today for all the people attending today, and obviously, it's about our new elite stock trading college. This is six weeks of detailed instruction, two proprietary strategies. We go over all the entries, exits, and stops. We have the platform signal scanner I'm going to be talking about in just a second. You're going to be getting the Primo Early Trend Detector, which is the PAT-D. That's our short-term trend identifier. We're going to give you a special course, one-week course with uh, Eric Wilkinson. He's uh, uh, the, the option expert, and you can learn how to trade these methods with options. We're going to be talking about advanced trade management, a great way to get in sync with your strategy. And you have full mentoring correspondence. After the six weeks course, you can always contact me, email me, and I'll still answer any question that you may have. Now, here's also what we're throwing into this great offer. We're going to give you 12 months of the PTS Primo platform free. This is usually worth thousands of dollars for a full uh, year of having these uh, capabilities on our platform. This is going to be thrown in free. Once you come become a member of the college, you'll get 12 months of the PTS Primo platform free. Now, the beauty of this is that you're also going to get the scanner. Now, we have really updated our scanners. And if you're the type of trader who is not able to be in front of your computer all day, all you have to do is come to our scanner, click on the scan, and in less than a couple of minutes, you will see what the buy and sell signals are for the next day. Now, remember, we're not here simply to generate signals for you. You will know why a signal is being generated. But guess what? We don't expect you to look through the entire list, the universe of stocks every night. I mean, that could be hundreds and if not thousands of stocks. So why not let us do the work for you with our scanner? And you can, you know, skim through them and maybe look through 20 to 50 stocks and see which are the best ones for you because you've studied the course and you know what rules uh, uh, and the uh, system, uh, strategy is generated based off of. And so you can decide for yourself which ones you want to take. Uh, for example, let's say we had had this presentation or the, the stock college a couple of weeks ago, and you would have used the scanner on the 12 months free of the platform, and you would have seen that the last week of uh, May in BIIB, a buy signal was generated on the 22nd. Okay, now it looks like the stock is basically doing nothing, but there is a buy signal that was generated. You're saying to yourself, well, how could I take this? Boy, it doesn't look like anything's happening, but... The stock generated 22 point gain in just two weeks. And I believe that was a strategy number eight signal as well. So this is what we mean by oftentimes it can capture these big moves. So in two weeks, that's 22 points coming into this first week of June here that you could have captured. This was something that was shown on the scanner that you would have seen and it was would have been up to you if you wanted to take the trade or not. You're going to be getting this capability on our new platform scan. But we're also going to be throwing in a lot more things because uh, we're working on putting these all together for you we want to have, along with the free uh, 12 months of the platform, we're going to also throw in a multi-scanner so you can scan for virtually all strategies and the pet D at once. So you'll be able to see what the pet D is telling you, whether you're in a short-term uptrend as well as when a buy or sell signal was generated. All right. The scanner is also come, going to come with a lot of different techniques are, which are just for the pet D. So you're going to get that as well. These are techniques that we, we share with you, I believe, in week number four 
that I will be teaching you to look for and you'll be able to scan as well. I can't go into detail what they are right now because I don't want to give away, you know, for some of the people that may be watching this that have the pet deep. But for the first time, you'll be able to scan for these different techniques using our scanner, okay? We're also going to show you automated exit levels. We've never had this before, but with a click of your uh, tab, you will be able to see where these exit levels are. So you can decide while you're uh, determining whether you want to take the trade or not, where your exit would be. Therefore, you can determine your risk reward ratio. You can determine if it's worth your while to be in this trade. And these are all going to be done automatically. Even though you know what they're based off of, we take the work out of it for you. We're also going to do the same thing, configuring your different entry points. So uh, with a click uh, of uh, your uh, mouse, you'll be able to see where the entry point is, the different variables for your entry point, and then you can decide what you'd like, okay? All these different things are calculated as well. We're coming up with our RPS calculator. This is an automatic calculator that will determine your position size. I've given presentations on this in the past, webinars where I've given you the formula where you can calculate this on your own. But it is a little cumbersome and a little people get confused sometimes or they forget how to use it after they stop using it for a while. Guess what? It's all going to be automated. And with, once again, the click of your mouse, you will just input a few different variables, what your account size is, where you want to place your entry, where your stop is, and it will tell you automatically how many shares you should be trading. This is all going to be included with our 12 months free with the PTS Primo Charting Platform. Okay? So normally, all these different bonuses the 12 months of the platform, along with six weeks uh, uh, mentoring coming from yours truly, would cost you close to, I believe, 10000 Well, the initial price, we cut it in half down to $49.95. But we're dropping that price down even more, down roughly about 30% or over 30%, down to an early bird pricing of $34.95. And we will include payment plans. This includes one year free Primo PTS Primo charting platform. Okay, but this is for a limited time only, this early bird special. $34.95, you get all of this plus the new features, the automated features that are going to be available on the scanner and on the platform. And, and remember, 12 months free of the platform, which is worth its weight in gold right there, and mentoring correspondence. $34.95, a one-time fee. If you're not able to come up with that one lump sum, don't worry. You can contact ProTrader Strategies, and they will devise a payment plan for you. So for a small deposit, you can be still up and running in the first live class that we have, okay? Trust me, a year from today, you will have wished you became a member of this course. Think of it. Think of a year ago today, all right? A year ago today, you were trading, regardless of what market or time frame, is your trading any better? Are you any more along the way? We really feel strongly that what's included in this six-week course will take you to the next level. So do yourself a favor. Get involved in this. If you have questions, contact ProTrader Strategies. You can email them at trading at ProTraderStrategies.com. I would suggest calling them at 310-598-6677 because you can talk to a trading consultant right now on the phone, and they will be happy to answer any question you have about the platform, about establishing a payment plan, anything of that nature. Now, if you're ready to go, if you want more information, the link at the bottom will take you to the sign-up page, but it's not a live link. As always, you'd have to copy and paste that onto your browser. But if you go to the chat box on the GoToWebinar go to column on the far right, a live link has been posted there. Okay, so you can simply click that on, and it will take you to the info page and the sign-up page for the college. Okay, so remember, I would suggest, it's just my recommendation, is to contact ProTrader Strategies. There's absolutely no obligation, and they can answer any question concerning price or discount and the platform as well. Now, I'm going to open up our question and answer box. If there's anything that uh, someone was uh, wondering about strategy number eight or anything included in the teaching, now's a great time to, to ask. You can ask me questions simply by going to the question and answer box and type them in. Uh, a lot of people are, are asking why only uh, these two strategies? Uh, I know we have more strategies, but we feel for trading stocks, these are the best strategies to trade. We have other strategies, such as strategy number five, uh, strategy number one, but we feel uh, that if you're trading stocks, if you're a stock trader, strategy number four and number eight are the best that you can give you, okay? So that, that's why we're focusing on that. Uh, Ofer is asking, how much does the system cost after a year? When you say system, are you uh, I, I, I assume you're referring to, you mean the platform. 
Uh, is that what you mean, uh, Ofer? Yeah, uh, I would contact Pro Trader Strategies because once again, I'm sure they would give you a deal because you were, became a member of the uh, college course. And I'm sure they would still give you some type of deal because you had already purchased the six week course. So everything is negotiable and, and, and trust me, they're there to work with you. And so uh, payment plans and discounts, they'd be more than happy to work with you, okay? Um, Paul is saying, I prefer a software work on such as MT4 or MT5 platform. <clears throat> That's a good uh, question, Paul. And don't worry, you can more than likely apply all of these things, the PET D, Strategy 4, Strategy 8, <clears throat> excuse me, the MT4 and MT5. The only trouble is you won't have the use of being able to use their scanners, but you'll still have our platform to use on a nightly basis for our platform. So yes, all, you, you will get add-ons. We don't feel they're of the highest quality. They're not as high quality when you apply them to them to MT4 and MT5 or other platforms such as TradeStation, NinjaTrader, uh, Thinkorswim, uh, Sierra Charts. You can use all of those platforms, but we feel the best of the best is by applying all of these on our PTS Primo charting platform because it's just one click away. I mean, you literally, when you're using our platform, I've showed you examples before, it, all you have to do is click on Strategy 4 and a drop down menu appears and you click on signals and you'll see in seconds where all the signals were. Same thing with the pet D, which you'll be getting as well. Uh, all you have to do is click on pet D and it will automatically change the colors from green to red and, and vice versa. So sure, you can use other platforms and we do give you those add-ons for those platforms, but uh, uh, we would uh, suggest you applying it only with the, with the PTS Primo charting platform because there's so much more information involved in there, okay? But those are all good questions. And don't worry, remember, if you have TradeStation, if you have Metastock, if you have MT4, MT5, if you have NinjaTrader, Thinkorswim, our tools and everything that's going to be in the college can be applied on those platforms. The only thing that can't be will be the scanning properties, which are our proprietary scanners. But you'll still have the capability to use them uh, because you will still have the, the platform at your access, okay? Now, once again, the class is usually reserved to a limited number. Uh, we like to keep these, you know, uh, these classes, uh, you know, informal because I don't want, because since it is going to be live, uh, I don't feel comfortable as I do sometimes in the webinars where we have two or 300 people in a class. It's, you're not really getting that same intimate type of teaching, is, which is what I prefer. So we try to keep them down to a smaller number. So uh, my advice is to take advantage, especially of this early bird pricing as quickly as possible, because most likely in the next couple of weeks, if we give another presentation, the price will be back up to 40, uh, 49.95. So take advantage of it as, as uh, you see fit. And uh, if you're still wondering about the pricing and about the uh, payment plans, please don't hesitate to call uh, Pro Trader Strategies at the number right there. They'll be happy to work with you and uh, put together some type of payment plan, okay? In conclusion, as we close now, I just wanna say thanks for taking time out of your Wednesday to, uh, to uh, come and hear our presentation. Oh, we got one more question. Uh, Let's see, Adrian was saying, I did sign up for a trial membership, but didn't get any email and haven't uh, yet found out about it. Oh, don't worry about that. Just contact Pro Trader Strategies. If for any reason you have any uh, issues with the platform, contact them and they'd be happy to set you up, okay? So maybe uh, oftentimes what happens is when they send you an email with the link, uh, it goes to your, uh, because of the way your email is set up, it may go to your uh, junk file and you may have missed it. You may have thought it was spam or your computer thought it was spam, but that was actually us sending it to you, okay? If you have any troubles, please do not hesitate to contact Pro Trader Strategies. They'd be happy to work with you, okay? Once again, in conclusion, thanks for taking time out of your Wednesday. Uh, I hope you learned a little bit something today about our philosophy, about how much we really want to educate you. And with the upcoming Stock College, the new and, and improved Elite Stock Trading College, I really think it will improve your trading and take it to the next level. So as we conclude, I just want to say thank you so much. I wish you the best of luck trading, and I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine in the new stock college. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.